Okay. Monday, Monday, Monday. Welcome to Monday, July 22nd. We're going to start this time with My Outmost for His Highest by Oswald Chambers. And Dexter says hello. He's drinking water because it's hot here today in Oregon. Baker City, Oregon. Shout out to this wonderful city. Thank you for hosting me. Sanctification. This is the will of God. Your sanctification. Sanctification. I should do a whole thing just on sanctification. First, the Lostonians. <laughs> Sometimes I just can't say words. The Salonians 4-3. The death side. Mm. In sanctification, God has to deal with us on the death side as well as on the life side. Sanctification requires our coming to the place of death. To many of us, but many of us spend so much time there that we become morbid. Mm. There is always a tremendous battle before sanctification is realized. Something within us pushes with resentment against the demands of Christ. When the Holy Spirit begins to show us what sanctification means, the struggle starts immediately. Wow. Jesus, Yeshua, said, Quote, if anyone comes to me and does not hate, dot, 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 his own life, dot, 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 he cannot be my disciple, end quote. That's Luke 14, 26. In the process of sanctification, the Spirit of God will strip me down until there is nothing left but myself. And that is the place of death. This is very fascinating because I just had a very long discussion with a, a dear friend about struggle and dying to ourselves and being no one. Um, so I'm going to just repeat this just for him because I think this is meant for him. There is always a tremendous battle before sanctification is realized. Something within us pushing with resentment against the demands of Christ. When the Holy Spirit begins to show us what sanctification means, the struggle starts immediately. Jesus, Yeshua, said, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his own life, he cannot be my disciple. I just like to stress the difference between his own life and hating himself. Being stripped of your life, not of who you truly are. I wish I'd read this before the conversation we had. In the process of sanctification, the Spirit of God will strip me down until there is nothing left but myself. And that is the place of death. Am I willing to be myself and nothing more? Oh, gosh, I wish I'd read this beforehand. I am, am I willing to be myself and nothing more? Am I willing to have no friends, no father, no brother, and no self-interest? Simply to be ready for death. That is the condition required for sanctification. No wonder, Jesus Yeshua said, I did not come to bring peace but a sword. That's Matthew 10, 34. This is where the battle comes and where so many of us falter. We refuse to be identified with the death of Jesus, Yeshua Christ, on this point. We say, but this is so strict. Surely he does not require that of me. Or Lord is strict. And he does require that of us. To be stripped of everything in our life. Except ourselves, for in ourselves we find the Christ when we submit our life to him. That's where we grow strong. That's where we become sovereign. <sighs> Am I willing to reduce myself down to simply me? Am I determined enough to strip myself of all that my friends think of me and all that I think of myself 
Am I willing and determined to hand over my simple naked self to God, to Father? Once I am, He will immediately sanctify me completely, and my life will be free from being determined and persistent towards anything except God. When I pray, quote, Lord, show me what sanctification means for me, He will show me. It means being made one with Yeshua. Sanctification is not something Yeshua put in me. It is himself in me. They said to see 1 Corinthians 1.30. Jacob Israel had um, always asked this of his uh, viewers, and I love him for it. I barely, I've heard it before, but I had just been catching it the last uh, few times I've heard him say it. And it's, Father, show me the truth no matter what the cost. Show me the truth no matter what the cost. Show me the truth no matter what the cost. Sanctification. Sanctification. Here comes the train. Wow, it's beautiful. Now, in God's minutes, which I will close today because I have got to get to Isaiah 5, which I'm excited about. I will praise thee, O Lord, my God, with all of my heart, and I will glorify thy name forevermore. Hmm. For great is thy mercy towards me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. Can I get a witness? <laughs> but thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth. Oh, turn unto me and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant and save the son of thine handmaiden. That's from Psalms 86, 12, 13, 15, and 16. And here comes the train. Our Heavenly Father, we bow before thee humbly. And thankfully, and we hold now. The Union Pacific this time. All right. Thou art great and holy and good. Forgive. Hold that box. They've been running like cray cray today. Oh, and Chihuahua. Here, Dexter, say hi. We're gonna distract you with cuteness. What's up? Dexter, say hi to the kid. Say hi to everybody. Can I say hi to everybody? Okay. <sighs> Nothing like a cute puppy to distract from trains that are really loud. All right, guys. Our Heavenly Father, we bow before thee humbly, reverently, and thankfully, for thou art great and holy and you are good. Forgive our sins for Yeshua Christ's sake, and by thy Holy Spirit, take away our love of sinning, that we may be willing to be able to do thy will. Make our home life strong in truth and righteousness and beautiful with love and courtesy and cheerfulness. Claim those things. We talked about this a few days ago. Instead of wishing, it, it goes back to like the law of attraction. Don't say, oh, I wish this or I want that. Claim it already. Because to wish for something is to, to claim something is different than wishing for it because in wishing there is a lack in that intent as you put it out and therefore the law of attraction states that you will just keep getting more of that lack because that is what your heart is actually feeling as you crave it out but claiming it is different claiming it you already know your father loves you you already know your father would want nothing but the best for you you're his little princess his little you're his baby boy you are his children. He wants only the best for you. Remember that. So when you claim things, it's different because you're like already expectant.
to have them be in your life as a given because you have the right to it and you're just calling it in as a natural way of being like why wouldn't your father want companionship? Why wouldn't your father want you to have joy? Why wouldn't your father have the world be compassionate towards you and you being easily able to give compassion back? Because as you receive, you give. As you give, you receive. So all those things that you call in, you do so as your right, as your divine right, as a loved child of God. But back to this thy will make our home life strong in truth and righteousness and beautiful with love and courtesy and cheerfulness may these children like just jesus yeshua increase in wisdom and in favor with god and man and i was just talking to suzanne about this this morning those little children uh, as shrinks call them our inner children our inner fractured 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 selves fractals some people call it when i read that just now may these children like jesus increase in wisdom and in favor with god and man maybe there's parts of you that get triggered and respond or react i should say react as opposed to respond there's a huge difference there um because of whatever happened, I mean, in the past as a child, or some would even go so far as to say, as in a conversation I had today, is it, it's karma, it's karmic karma. Like it happened way before you were, in, not in this lifetime, if, you, if you're if you into um, what I believe is, seems very obvious, uh, repeated life cycles. For if we're eternal, why wouldn't we have more than this, you know, 90 year span or whatever? Um, so, Pray for your inner children and for your karmic selves in the past that in this flesh that you may be able to, through your own prayers for yourselves, your inner selves and your past selves, that that prayer may come into a realization in this, that that, that karma be released, that those inner children uh, come have the vulnerability and the love to come forward and that your subconscious is out of your subconscious and able to recognize them in your conscience and be able to parent them, to love them, to, to heal them, to let them know that they can let go or that they can, that they are loved. Um, for those of you that have dealt with the inner ch children or the shadow work, this, that will be clear. So, for those that just think I'm rambling, it's okay. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, make our home life strong in truth and righteousness and beautiful with love and courtesy and cheerfulness. May these children, like Yeshua, increase in wisdom and in favor with God and man. And that could be with the Father. Recognize that they are loved too and that you love them and that therefore you are able to love yourselves. All of yourselves. We thank thee for the gift of life. If we didn't have this playground to um, grow in, I mean, what a wonderful playground. What a wonderful school life here in the 3D is on this beautiful planet. For good and ill, I mean, we grow, we expand, we ascend. May we all lay hold on eternal life, which also is thy gift, and it is, Show us our work and make us faithful. Show us our work and make us faithful. I know some people think work is a four-letter word, and some people never do find their purpose. Ah, but for us that do, what a gift. What a gift. Make us unselfish and so helpful to the weak. Make us unselfish and so helpful to the weak, the tempted and the sorrowing, sorrowing, the discouraged and the lost. How beautiful is it to be an inspiration for people that are like that? And how beautiful when those same people are able to give you that encouragement and that love and that, in, in, you know, be there for you when you're in that spot. Because again, like I was talking to my one of my other friends today, when you 
it's the ebb and flow of life. We know something and then we forget it. We go back to sleep. We wake up. We're like, oh man, I already knew that. Why, why, why am I real? Oh man, I'm having a repeat, aren't I? So we do this for each other. When, when, when I, when we become selfish and when we need help because we are weak or we are tempted or we are in sorrow or we are discouraged because when we go back to sleep, when we are lost, I really think that it makes sense that because of the energy that we were able, when we were stable or in a, in a high vibration and, and were able to do that for others, that of course the, the, the father, the, the karmic energies would be able to be present themselves to you through other people and other situations that are for when you need it because you gave that. So how beautiful is that? Talk about balance, right? Talk about the body being there to help the body out, um, being aware of each other. Bless our country with righteousness. Please. <sighs> Bring men to the new brotherhood in Christ, or sisterhood in Christ, ah, the family of Christ, and clothe thy church with power, that the gospel may be preached. And who is the church? We are. And who are we? The body of Christ. May, okay, that the gospel may be preached. And, thy king, and what's the gospel? The good news that you are loved by the Father Almighty, original creator of all. So... Arise to that power and stop being small. Uh, the church with power and the gospel may be preached and thy kingdom hastened through Jeshua Christ our Lord. And thank you, Professor J.H. Farmer from Toronto, Ontario, Canada for that. So thank you for that. I can't do anything about the trains. They are literally come and go as they please and we just play back okay so thank you guys for that and you get to know a little dexter dog more it's a little camera shy today anyway love you guys and i will be getting to isaiah 5 now and i'll see you later tonight with that blessings bye